there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our video here on Pastige of Skin. Today we're looking at Marvel Heroes Omega once again as they've released a new loot box. New loot box based around Captain America Civil War and some of the costumes that are actually released as part of that. Now, the basic problem is I actually already have all the Civil War costumes uh, from buying Founders packs and getting the game in the first place before it's released. So this is uh, more of an opportunity for me to just go in, find out what the drop rates on these particular boxes actually are. Uh, so we're going to do our normal 25 and that gives you statistical information that you can work from with me and any other videos that you may watch to kind of figure out whether or not it's worthwhile for you to get the things that you might want. I'll probably get a lot of repeat, I'll get a lot of uh, Marvel's Essence from this because I think I have all of the costumes, so literally I don't think there's anything that could surprise me in these boxes. Stop talking. But we'll go for it, and we'll get the uh, 25 done and dusted. Um, you know what, actually, I'm gonna do something power, first. Great responsibility. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of this area because there's gonna be, of course, the usual noise of people talking in the background, and it's gonna keep me from being able to talk comfortably at the levels that are required, <laughs> because otherwise the game will just be powering over the top of me at all times. And there we go, we're somewhere safe and sound. The hell? I've never noticed that before, the wee genetic image logos down in the bottom corner of the screen. Describe and so on. Eh, never noticed that before. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got distracted immediately as soon as I started doing this. That's terrible. I, 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 I'm a per, per person for actually playing a Pokemon game. Um, we got no space. Oh, we're just going to be short. Yeah. Get this in my pocket and use it so I don't have anything sitting there. And use you, 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 hold my eternity splinters, and let's get ourselves into the store and get, get it out. Marvel Captain America Civil War loot box. Let's see what is it. All right, so buy fives, buy one. Ugh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25. <laughs> that was a nice feeling. So we got our 25 bot. Let's get ourselves into the first box. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to actually say that I'm drinking tonight. So um, I'm going to be enjoying this and by being a wonderful taste of Captain Morgan's rum. Buy me. Get me. Just like, make me your bitch, Captain Morgan's. I will happily shill your rum. It's so tasty. Mm. Also keeps the voice lubricated as I think and I speak while we do these. Alright, so is this going to show me all boxes? Right. First loot box, Civil War loot box, what we got to show us. Bring it on. Four Marvelous Essence. A shitty ass credit chest. Unstable molecules by five. Uh, five 20 relics of subterranea. Bing! I like relics. And the ultimate power upgrade for anybody. So that's going to be added into, into our stack of ones that we've actually built up over time. Okay, so open the next Civil War box. That was like, that wasn't a bad box, but um, yeah, yeah I'm not massively impressed. I'm just happy with the relics because I've, I've relicked out all my characters now at this point, all my um, my mains, anybody who's level 60. So it'll be good to have those for most of the characters. Like every every time I do one of these boxes, I get at least one relic out of it. And that's actually making one more character just that little bit more powerful. And I'm just uh, it's just in time for me to go and do Cosmic with them if I ever finish the story. So uh, open the next box. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, five Unstable Molecules, a large character experience token for magic, a large character experience token for Doctor Strange. Uh, magic I already have maxed out, Doctor Strange, the token is appreciated, um, but I think he's already at level 13, so it's only going to take him up to, what, 19? So, it's great. Help me uh, experience up my characters, but um, I'm tempted to actually go and do the Super Heroic Trials with those characters at the lowest level, because it scales for them as they power up, I suppose. Um, yep, yeah, moving on. Um, again, nothing massively exciting from that. So two crates down, no costumes, and nothing of wonderful importance, and no goddamn matrix of unbinding. That's the one thing I'm fucking glad about. I haven't seen one of those yet. I, I'm not going to get one in the next box now, but fuck it, we'll see what happens. Civil War loot box again. Two Eternity Splinters. Five Eternity Splinters. Ten Eternity Splinters. So, um, yeah. <laughs> 17 Eternity Splinters. Ten Legendary Marks. And four Marvelous Essence. That wasn't a great box, but I mean, 30 splinters, you can buy, the thing, buy things that you want with them, uh, characters, if you actually are not, they're not in the same case as me, and uh, 30 splinters are actually being converted into, is it Omega Essence, in the logistics character shop, so 
I think that's the alternate use for it now, after you've actually got all the characters that are going to be available. Again, yeah, not a great box. Probably amazing so far. Still no costumes. And we're uh, four boxes in. Four Marvelous Essence. Another garbage credit chest. Uh, Rally 10 Relics of Atlantis. Two experience boosts. And a chest of 15 Marvelous Essence. So we have our first costume. One in four so far. 25% drop rate on uh, costumes for the Captain America Civil War loot box. I keep on keep on thinking of it, trying to remember the full title for it each time. C-A-C-W. <laughs> But the experience boost, happy with that. Always enjoy having them. Damn happy with it. And the uh, Marvelous Essence. We're going to keep on adding that to our stacks. So we're down, four down. One to number five. To return these splinters, four Marvelous Essence, an experience boost, a matrix of unbinding, and a random hero ultimate gift, which we'll open up at the end after we do the rest of them. But um, matrix of unbinding. Mm. Had to be within the five, but really let, let the stacks continue to grow. I, like, Mara, uh, Gazillion, uh, PC guys, is there anything we can convert this shit into? Can we break it down into components and then reuse the components for someone else? Because I don't need these at all. There's literally nothing that I have that's actually going to be that important to pass on from character to character. So open the next Civil War box, going from number six. Let's see. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, five Cosmic Fragments, a Partridge in a Pear Tree, a Random Hero Ultimate Gift, and a 100,000 credits credit chest. Not brilliant. I've all been using, I actually went and sold all my credit chests uh, there recently yeah. uh, to the get myself a buttload of cash to buy uh, training up packs, you know, the uh, experience packs, the uh, research and resources for Science Division to try and get it up to 20 as fast as possible. So that'll actually contribute towards that because they cost like 40000 per fact along with the material costs. So the, those ones are okay. 5000 there that was garbage. That was a waste of my time. You get that on an easy run. So uh, not too bad. Not too bad, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not offended by the drops anymore. There, there's, uh, if you're noticing, there's a lot less mats. So far, it's actually all been usable items. So and they, must have, they must have made a change to their drop rates recently, like secretively. But I imagine they did it whenever they added in this box without counting it as a full patch note. Because the Hell's Kitchen boxes were... Oof, they felt quite woeful. Holy shit! This is a costume I didn't already have! <laughs> there you go! Ant-Man's uh, Captain America Civil War costume. Play as a criminal turned superhero Scott Lang in the look... And look... What was it? In the look he donned while helping Captain America defeat the freedom... Uh, Defend the freedom of superheroes everywhere during Civil War. So Civil War, um, Ant-Man, awesome. Oh. It's a good looking costume too. It's actually, uh, it's one of the nicer ones that you could have got in this. So I didn't realize I didn't have Ant-Man Civil War costume. How it works for me, happy days. I just realized that there's actually feedback from my screen here. So I'm actually probably hearing myself doubled. Give me a second here to make sure, clear the audio out of the way. Um, I've been a little too loud. I'm uh, not too bad. Okay, good and fine. So, uh, four Marvelous Essence and minor experience boost. Ionic Particle. Mmm. Let me say about craft materials showing up. And large character experience token for Captain Marvel. Um, Captain Marvel's already maxed out to 60, so whenever they go to Omega Her, I'll be ready. Um, I don't think I'm going to prestige her before that, like. So, yeah. Ant-Man Marvel's Captain America costume. So that's two costumes in, what, five, six? Seven boxes, so two and seven, not too bad. Uh, but near like a twenty-seven percent drop rate. I'm doing basic stupid math in my head. It's like twenty-seven to thirty percent. Like that's actually like not too bad so far. Two costumes in the box set so far. We'll just keep counting the costumes and we'll do it at the end to figure out for the full twenty-five. But two, got two, two, two already. Shit! Awesome. Okay. Fuck. Three. Uh. Hawkeye Marvel Captain America. I didn't have Cap I didn't have Hawkeye either. Where where was I meant to get those costumes? Uh, I suppose you think about it, was Hawkeye in the Avengers pack? And you got So I'm assuming the Civil War costumes are they must be different from the Avengers costume. They are different from the Avengers costumes, obviously. But uh, the Avengers pack got me all the Avengers costumes. So I I'm going to be getting more costumes than I thought. I'm more excited than I originally was. Awesome. So we're three for we're three for it so far. Oh. Damn good. 
10 Marvel Assassins, 4 Marvel Assassins, or 14 Marvel Assassins on top of that as well. So not too bad. Garbage credit chest. I'm actually going to let that slide. That's actually, a, it's a costume pack with a decent amount of essence on it. And a random hero ultimate gift token. We don't know who it is. We'll open it whenever we get to the afters. But uh, yeah, that's damn good news. Sweet. I'm moving on. Two Eternity Splinters, ten Eternity Splinters, four Marvel Assassins, a currency boost, and a random here all the gift code token. So, um, plenty. Of, there's a lot of Splinters in this box so far. Uh, I'll see what the stack is at the end, but um, uh, not on, I'm heavily offended in any way she performed by the drop so far. And um, as always, any boosts are always welcome, uh, especially in these boxes because I like currency boost. You run with a stack of those on you throughout the entire game on super or not super heroic on. Yeah, on Super Heroic, at least, you're getting a decent amount of cash flow. On Omega, I have no idea what the drop rates are. If you go on patrol with a currency boost on, your legendary marks boost so, so well. Because you're just going to be running from boss to boss to boss constantly. So it's a really good drop to actually have for um, performing for those particularly. Uh, random here, ultimate gift. Don't know about that so far. Uh, we'll find out after. But yeah, three costumes. We're on three. So got three. I should actually have a costume count here where I just go click and it goes up by one each time. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvel Assassins, five Cosmic Fragments, and a chest of 50 Marvel Assassins, so that's four. We're on four costumes now. Four costume drops in ten? Four in ten? Near a 40% drop rate? Alright, alright. And a random here ultimate gift that we'll open after we're all done and dusted with this. So yeah, the costumes are actually coming thick and fast. Uh, they, must, they must have done a recalibration of this, because compared to the Hell's Kitchen one, it was... That's actually, these are coming reasonably well. I'm probably going to get a nice spit where there's none and then this will actually even it up. But at the moment, what, four for, four for ten? Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's go on to the next one. Five legendary marks, ten legendary marks, four Marvel Assassins, a small character experience token, four Storm, and a chest for 50 Marvel Assassins. So one of the rare costumes in the pack, the Civil War ones, end up getting dropped. Uh, pff, that's five. 5 and 11, and one of them a rarity. I don't know about the other two, um, because I actually got the costume. I don't know what their rarity levels are, but we might actually check to see what their costs are, if they can get them outside of the... If you can buy them in the costume shop, and it tells me how much they are, then we'll be able to judge that on those two costumes. But as it is, five costumes so far, uh, two of which I already had. So cool. That's pretty damn good. Um, 15 Legendary Marks, 4 Marvel Assassins. Uh, character, character token for Storm. I don't think I have Storm maxed out, so that'll be helpful. And again, the chest. Bam! Five! Five! Count them! Five! <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Ten legendary marks, four Marvel Assassins, and minor experience boost. Five unstable molecules, and two shield supply boosts. Um, I have not opened a single shield supply boost since I have maxed out, since I maxed out She-Hulk, which was my first character in Marvel Heroes Omega. And I have a stack of them sitting waiting to be opened. And with the shield supply boost, I don't normally use these boosts in any way, shape, or form. The only time I ever use them is if I'm using combination boosts, which already stacks them up as, as well anyway. So I'm curious and uh, I, I'm happy to get boosts. Boosts are always cool. But shield supply boosts, uh, I, I, unless you're playing endgame, like proper Omega endgame, I don't know what the value for them really is. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what molecules. Only, a mo only one um, material in there. A minor experience boost, always welcome. But uh, yeah, otherwise, not an amazing crit, but a decent crit. Especially because I'm, I'm still on the high from the five we've already got, so we're good and grand. 25 Marvel Assassins. Boom! That's not too bad. That's as good as a costume getting. Well, actually, better than a normal costume. Uh, 10 and 30 splinters. Another four Marvel Assassins, the guarantee. And a credit chest for 5,000. And five unstable molecules! Uh... Credit chest being the garbage one. Um, 25 Marvel Assassins. They do, so there actually is 25 and 50s probably in here for Marvel Assassins on their own, but not from a costume. That one's specifically just a drop inside this. So we'll get a, we'll try and get a total of our Marvel Assassins. I always forget to check my Marvel Assassins before I go in here to see how much it was, but well, uh, remind me. If you're in the chat, remind me the next time we go to do one of these. Um, open the next box. We're going on. Ten legendary marks, four Marvel Assassins, a small character experience token for Iron Fist, five unstable molecules, and a large character experience token for Squirrel Girl. 
Uh, Squirrel Girl's already maxed out. Iron Fist, I have nowhere near maxed out. I'm glad to get tokens for him because I don't. I actually don't like Iron Fist that much. Um, if you're an Iron Fist fan and know how to play as him, tell me in the comments because uh, he's a melee character that I don't enjoy using. Um, I don't. I really don't. I don't like him. I just. I just. It's one of the things where I just haven't. I don't like his dialogue lines, and that doesn't endear me to his char charm. me to his character, and then everything otherwise just mechanically he doesn't play well for me. But uh, yeah, if they ever Omega Squirrel Girl, which I want them to do, I want please, please, gazillion Omega Squirrel Girl, please for me. Yeah, good, good guy. You know, I know you're listening. Um, otherwise, not a brilliant box, not amazing, but uh, still, still riding high, still riding high. We're 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 almost five for fifteen now, so we've dropped down to the thirty percent, thirty three percent again. So come on, keep 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 it keep, it, keep, it, keep it over, get us to forty, keep it at forty. And we'd be actually, we'll probably be not fucking angry about the great drops. But that was like 5 in 10, and then none for 5, so. Let's see. Two attorney splinters, five legendary marks, four marvelous says a matrix of unbinding! A matrix of unbinding! <laughs> this should not be. Should not get two of these in a box. Stack them. Stack them and count them as a if you're gonna if you're gonna do this, stack them as a rare drop where it's multiples of these. Because this pisses me off. Can't stand it. Do not want to see a matrix of unbinding twice as an important item. So mm. four marvelous essence, five hundred marks, two attorneys, but there's this is the worst box of the twenty five so far. Let's move on. Why? Why, Gizillion? Why? Take it out of your loot table, please. Ugh, I'm done here. You hear me? We're done. Exactly! Gwen is right, I am right, I'm not feeling very happy right now. So two turn eight splinters, four marvelous essence, a nanotech filament, twenty relics of Atlantis, and a matrix of unbinding. <sighs> Three and two boxes, not fun. <laughs> hey, how's it going in the live stream? Thank you very much for joining us. Not a good box. Not a good box at all. Why? Relics of Atlantis, they're alright. They're okay. I'm annoyed by it. Uh, but yeah, I'm. This is a terrible box, otherwise. That's. I'm. I'm starting to. Like, after the five costumes in the first ten boxes, this is getting annoying. And in fact, I need to drink more. I need, more alcohol is required. Okay, four marvelous essence, energized particles, ionic particles, a chest of fifteen marvelous essence. So we're on in our costume. Hey! Woo! Well done, Gazillion! The, the streak of shite is broken. Um, so that's six costumes. Uh, obviously, it's one that I already have, so we just get a chest. Um, six in 20? Well, sorry. Six in 15, 16. Six in 17. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The, you need to drop some boxes, boys. You really need to drop some boxes to actually make this. Uh, you need to drop some costumes in the next few boxes to actually make this worthwhile. Uh, large character experience token for Star Lord, who I've not maxed out to 60 yet, so that will be helpful. Um, otherwise, not a brilliant box. Uh, ionic particle, singular. Uh, energized particles, singular. Whenever you get singular of any of these, I'm not a happy man. But the box has a costume in it, which uh, kind of has the value to the game. But at 15 Marvelous Essence, some people would be horribly disappointed by that. Obviously, I already have a lot of the costumes, so this happens to me a lot. Or a Marvelous Essence, a credit chest for 5,000. Garbage! An experience boost. Nice. Matrix of Unbinding can fuck right off. And 20 Relics of Xandar, which is nice. I actually like the Relics of Xandar. Again, as always, I say, Matrix of Unbinding should not be in the loot table. Gazillion, take it out of the loot table. Experience boost, a credit chest, and a four Marvelous Essence. Not a massive fan, but we'll see what we got next. Four Marvelous Essence, another garbage credit chest, another experience boost, a matrix of unbinding, and 20 relics of Gibrahim. This is identical to the last crate we just opened. Guys, identical to the last crate we just opened, except for it's Gibrahim instead of Xandar. What? Yeah, I, I know the randomness, the odds in life that actually you're using a loot table, you're going to have the same results 
back to back, which would be great if it was actually a rarity box where there was like two costume, a costume in each one back to back, or there two costumes in a pack. That'd be amazing. That'd be that can happen. But no, no, guys, literally having the exact same layout. Out, that would actually that would, that would that would piss me on off to the point to actually complain. That is like that's not cool. Especially with the Matrix of Unbinding being in there. Nah, 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 nah. Nope, not happening. Ten legendary marks, four marble assassins, a lightweight armor plate. 12, 10 relics of Xandar and a chest for 15 Marvel Assassins. So that's number seven. Seven costumes. That's a count. Seven! Ha ha! All right. Seven costumes in 20. Seven and 20. We've got five boxes left, guys. Give us three. Get us up to the 10. Get 10 and 25, and it should be at least good. Uh, all right. Relic of Xandar. Lightweight armor plate. Four Marvel Assassins. Ten legendary marks. What is that actually in the chat? At least one matrix per box every time. Yeah, yeah, no. That is absolute cruelty. Chest of 50 Marvel Assassins. I'm glad we're on seven. We're on so we're, we're on path. We're on path. Give 10, 10 out of 25, and mm, this this won't be bad. This won't be awful. People you multiply that by four, that's 40 bucks. 100, you know. Give it give us the 40 percent. Come on. Get get the 40 percent. Keep yourselves at 40 percent. That's what you want. You want. And you've got Five more opportunities, Gazillion. Let's see. Four Marvel Assassins, Minor Experience Boost, Ionic Particle, Random Hero Ultimate Gift, and a chance for 15 Marvel Assassins! Oh! Yes, um, not too bad. That's good news. We're on it. Two more. Two more again. That's all you need to worry about. Two. Otherwise, uh, Marvel Minor Experience Boost, always happy to have. Ionic Particles, again, in singular, not cool. And uh, random here, ultimate gift. That's, uh, we'll, we'll open those afterwards just to see while I do my epilogue thing thingy in this video. So uh, open next Civil War box before we go. Four Marvel's Essence of Minor Experience Boots. 10 Relics of Xandar. 20 Relics of Xandar. Whoo yeah! 30 Relics all in one box. And another 20 for Asgard. <laughs> Actually, uh, Admittedly, I'm here for costumes. That's the purpose behind it. You kind of want the costumes because that's the thing that's exclusive to this. But a 50 stack of relics in a single box is... Mm, 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 I can taste it. I can almost taste it. And it tastes like fine dining. Uh, so yeah, 30 relics of Xandar. By this point now, I think we're counting at 70 relics of Xandar in this one batch already. So guaranteed uh, relic, hopefully. And with relic of Asgard, I, they, they do seem to drop as often. And I actually have my preferential ones. So let's see what we got. And where are we at? Ten Eternity Splinters, four Marvel Assassins, Futuristic Alloy, singular. Eh, uh, kind of shitty crit. Ah, Matrix of Unbinding. Don't do this to me. Not the last three boxes. You've got two left to do. You've got two boxes left. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do these. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. They're not expensive to make. They're not that great. It, every time I see one of these, I assume this trait is going to be garbage. I don't think I've actually seen a great with a matrix of a mining and a good object or good drop in it at the same time so far. And, and, that, and that's chatting, what, over 300 crates that I've actually opened on this channel. And anytime I see a matrix of a mining, it brings me down, man. It brings me the fuck down. Two more. Two more. Four Marvel's Essence, a small character experience token for Captain America. I have a chest. Oh, that's alright, too. Large character experience token for Nova, which actually we still need to do. And 20 Relics of Asgard. Um, not a bad box, but... A chest, it reduces its quality. Uh, but we're not going to hit target. He's fucked it up. Gazillion. He's messed it up, man. 40% ain't happening. It just ain't happening. We're not getting 40%. So, what, you'd be lucky to get, what, uh, we're, we're going to get 9 and 25. So, what's 30, uh, 9 multiplied by 4, 4 nines are 36, 36%. Give us 1. Do you want, be cool, give us 2. 2. 2 in 1 box. Are we going for it? Are we going for it? Let's see. 4 Marvel Assassins, minor experience boost. 5 Cosmic Fragments, a chance for 15 Marvel Assassins. And a random hero ultimate gift. So we, we're on nine. Nine. 36% drop rate of costume. 
that's okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Poor Marvel's asset. Uh, Marvel main experience base always happy to have uh, cosmic fragments. We don't see them as often, um, so nice to have a stack of five of those drop in there. I don't. I can't try to think where else do you get cosmic. You only get cosmic fragments from uh, cosmic playthrough, so you have to actually complete cosmic difficulty before you can do that. And uh, chest of fifteen marvelous essence and a random hero ultimate gift. Okay. So nine. That's where we're at. Nine. Nine costumes. And twenty-five. Oh, guys. Nine and twenty-five. So we've got the one, two, three, four of those. And we've got the rest of them. Everything else probably went to my yeah, everything else went into my pocket. So we're gonna actually have to put everything away here. Um, we're going to actually tidy up a wee bit and we'll do our uh, more ultimate tokens unboxing. But it really, whenever you look at it, nine drops in... Nine drops in 25. It's better. It's much, much better than the Hell's Kitchen drops. Like, it was seven and 25. Or seven or six and 25. And majority of those were costumes I already had again as well. Um... Did I, I don't even remember. Did I actually get the costume that I wanted in the end up as well? Did I get the unmasked Electra? I don't think I got the unmasked Electra. That's not cool. I will open that up. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much Marvel's S we actually had before we started. We're not going to do a count. We'll just say we'll just assume that it was actually reasonably good. <laughs> um, we'll move to storage on the rest of these. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Keep the old ones in my pocket until we get to them. Of course, we got one that was actually generic to be used on anybody, and I've got a stack of those sitting up now, so literally at this point I need to go through the my level 60s and max out their uh, ultimates for a couple of the, a couple of the best ones, really. They end up the ones I actually max out. Probably going to save the, a lot of them for um, Spider-Man Omega as well, because we're going to be doing a video of that at some point where we go through the, um, the Omega Spider-Man, kind of the details of the changes they've actually done to the character. Should pull the out here. Yeah. here. Pull the rest of the delivery in. Recall. Yes. Yes. We needed all of them. Go in here. Clear out the rest. The chaffa or chuffa. Boom. Those are in. And all those are in. These I'm gonna have to probably put them individually. Oh nope. That. 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 Use that. That. Use that. So, we've got our ultimate tokens sitting here in hand now. So, uh, who we got? We got Daredevil, Rocket Raccoon, Elektra, Ghost Rider, Iron Fist, Cyclops, and Deadpool. Alright. Those are all stack in with the rest of the ones we already have for those characters. And that wasn't too bad. I'd uh, say too bad, but it's still permanent, don't we? We got uh, stacks of relics all here. We've got enough for relics. Yeah, Relic of Xandar, anyway. And are uh, close for the Subterranea. And I think I actually have some characters holding relics of stuff at the moment, uh, rather than actually holding the full thing because I was temp temping them with it. So yeah, guys, that was um, the Marvelous Essence. Or not the Marvelous Essence. The uh, Marvel's Captain America Civil War loot box for 25 drops. In the end up, nine costumes, a button of Matrix of Goddamn and Binding. Seriously, Gazillion. I don't know what you want to do with it, but do something. Do something with those Matrix of Unbinding. Give us a breakdown method. Give us a way to actually, like, just break those down. Because, as it is now, I'm thinking, can, can you actually give those to your, um, as, the, like, as donations? Can you give the Matrix of Unbinding as donations? They've got a stack of them now. And I don't think I'm ever, ever going to use them. If that's really what the case is. I don't think I'm ever going to. So, yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you actually enjoyed watching this loot box, of course, there's plenty of other ones in the series. I'll make sure to actually link you to the actual rest, the rest of them. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video and you thought this was helpful and give you a little bit more information and give you an idea of what it's worth to actually go and buy these boxes, then hit the subscribe button up here um, or hit the follow button anywhere nearby that you're actually catching this video. And if you don't do any of those things, uh, the one thing I do ask is that you remember the name, Hasisha Skin, and you know to come back and search for more stuff like this in the future. You're always welcome to do so. And um, I'm not trying to hide. I'm easy to find. You can literally just type that name in and I own, I think, the first two pages of Google. You know? It's not hard to find me. I'm somewhere along that line. You can find one that says live, or you can find one that actually has a pre-recorded video. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button up there I'd really appreciate you hitting. 
or you can actually hit the right playlist right here over on the far side there's the most recent video i've actually uploaded and right here will be a video just for you based on the user analytics and the things you do on youtube it'll actually allow you to choose and pick something that will be your interest so i highly recommend you watch that so guys thank you very much for watching and i will see all you do in the next video bye